Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm Professor John R. and I'm your instructor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a tool that I featured on our Instagram page. Some of you commented on the page saying that you were interested in seeing a video on how it's made. So here it is, just for you. This is an essential tool for making accurate measurements when working with things like jump rings, rings, and baskets for gallery settings. Now, what you're going to need for this project are a striking hammer, a bench block or other striking surface, a protractor, a metal ruler, a pair of vernier calipers, a scribe with a sharp point, a permanent marker, some dividers, a square of brass, and some double-sided tape. And of course, we want to put on our eye protection because we always want to work safely and mine have a little magnification too. So let's talk about the square first. I cut a perfect four by four square. Now the reason why I cut the square to these dimensions is because number one, this is the size of tool that I want. And number two, I want to take advantage of these corners which have right angles and are equidistant apart so that I can create 90 degree angles on the top surface. So let me show you how that's done. But let me just tell you, I'm going to show you how to make the tool accurately. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to backtrack a little bit just so that you can see my lines a little better by covering them with some permanent marker. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to take my metal ruler and I'm going to go from corner to corner. To be sure that you're actually hitting the corners, what I want to do is I want to touch the corner with the tip of my scriber and I'll come to this other corner and I'll do the same thing. Now you can double check. It's a good idea to go back and forth to make sure that you're actually on the corners. Once you're there, go ahead and just push and drag your scriber across to make a nice line in the surface of the piece of brass. So here's where I'm going to use the permanent marker to come in and darken that in so you'll be able to see it better. There we go. Now I'm going to repeat the process with the other corners. So again, touch the corner, push the ruler against the tip of your tool, double check at the top, and then drag it across the surface. And let's give it another permanent marker line. Okay, so you can clearly see that on the surface of my piece, I have right angles. And I want to take advantage of these angles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this piece of metal on top of my bench block. And then I'm going to take the tip of my scriber and I'm going to put it right where they intersect. And then taking my hammer to strike, I'm going to create a kernel. Remember, the kernel is like the kernel of the truth, the center of it, where it all starts. Now, I'm going to pick up the dividers, and I previously have set my dividers to 2.5 millimeters. Now, 2.5 millimeters is the distance on a ring ruler between the different sizes. So, for example, the distance between a size 4 and a size 5 is 2.5 millimeters. I just happen to like that, that increment of measurement. So I'm going to place one point of my dividers in the kernel and then I'm just going to move the metal underneath my dividers in order to make a complete circle. Now I'm going to move up in terms of the, the distance between the points on my dividers to 5 millimeters, of course because 2.5 times 2 is 5. Now, the vernier calipers like this, these manual ones, are wonderful because the measurements are kind of indented in the surface. So I can double check that I have the accurate measurement on my dividers by just putting it in the indentation on the surface. So I'm just going to repeat that process again. And I'm going to hold that one point down and turn the metal to make a complete circle. Now, you can keep doing this as many times as you need to in order to make a circle pattern or like a bullseye
that suits your needs in terms of the size of the work that you're, you're trying to measure. Now, I've already made a complete one, and here it is. Now, you can see that I've created lines that go from corner to corner that gave me those right angles that helped me to find my center point, and I have a series of concentric circles that are spaced at 2.5 millimeters apart. Now, the way that I use this is, I'll take a piece of my double-sided tape, and I'm going to just apply it right over the center of the piece. That way, I could take something like this, which is a closed jump ring, and I can position it on top of a circle that it fits perfectly on top of, and with the double-sided tape, it should be held securely in place. That way, I have enough time to carefully take a permanent marker and mark the angles that are appropriate for the project that I'm creating. Now this is useful when you're creating things like single gallery settings or double gallery settings that we've shown you in previous videos. Now this tool is really handy if you make these types of projects on a regular basis or if you work with circles regularly. If it's on the rare occasion that you do something like this, you could just print out a piece of polar graph paper from the internet, but this is a great tool to have in your kit. Hope you like this video. Remember to follow the Online Jewelry Academy on social media, and you can find our playlist at any time on onlinejewelryacademy.com. We also have two great courses on udemy.com. You'll find the links for those courses and the discount codes in the description to this video. Thanks for watching.